The story with Stained goes that, you know, Fred Durst discovered you at um, Webster. The Webster in Hartford, Webster Connecticut. Webster in Hartford, yes. And uh, I know you've told me the story before. I always find it interesting that he actually was trying to get you thrown off before you hit the stage, he right? He did, yeah. He <laughs> saw our CD cover from Tormented and uh, <laughs> went up to Aaron and was, well, wasn't was happy and, you know, tried to have us thrown off the bill. And we were going on like like 10, and Aaron came to me. He's like, he doesn't want us to play. I'm like, we're playing. I mean, you know, stuff is all set up, you know. And uh, and he watched the whole set. And we it was like a 20-minute set. We were like first of four bands. Mm -hmm. They had just, their first record had just come out. And uh, and afterwards, he, you know, really liked the band. What was it? Did he, did he ever verbalize it to you? Because he called you like in the middle of the night, didn't he? And, well, so and what said, happened hey. was is he gave us our number. I remember everybody was all excited. We hung out with him that night and we we went home. So I had his number and uh, I tried calling him that week and he never answered. I tried calling him for like a month. <laughs> never. And that's what I said to those guys. I go, listen, you'll hear these things. I said... I mean, until anything happens, it's just talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anybody can say anything. So what happened was that we were working on some new songs, and we had, I think, th uh, three songs. And it was the night, this was in October of um, 97, I think it was, yeah. And so that Thanksgiving night, they were playing with the Deftones outside of Boston, and we had just finished a demo of three songs. So we had, you know this old beat up van that we used to use. We all hopped in that drove to the show and, you know, did the knock on the bus door. <laughs> That's always comfortable. Oh yeah, no, totally. <laughs> so, and, and <laughs> after living in a bus for 20 years, I know what it's like when the, somebody knocks on the door, like really, <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants to get it. But, uh, uh, I, Wes, I think opened the door and lethal was there and we, we never even saw Fred. We left, left some tapes there of this new songs and I uh, watched the show, drove home. And that's when it was, it was like three in the morning. I had my phone number on the cassette tape. Smart. <laughs> and uh, he called me and it was playing in the background. And he, you know, that was kind of what set everything in motion. We went down to Jacksonville, um, like the day after Christmas thing, we had a gig. Mm -hmm. And like, after that gig, we loaded up our trailer and just drove to Florida. And remember we said, welcome to Florida. And we had, we had got one of those inverters and we had like, you know, that like a video gaming console plugged into. We had like everything in the world plugged into this thing and blew the alternator. <laughs> Literally welcome to Florida. The van died and just, we had to close really? down and have it towed. Yeah. Luckily Jacksonville's not far into it. <laughs> Fred had to come pick us up. We really? were literally on the side of the road. Yeah. Did yeah. he also have a van? Did he? No, he never, no, no, no. But, uh, I, uh, and we spent a week there just kind of working on songs, which ended up coming, becoming uh dysfunction. Mm -hmm. 